at the Independence Square or the Black Star Square. Oh yeah, I had to take this with you. Yeah. Uh, we will be going in or find a place to park and I will talk about the place and then after that uh, we'll continue. Okay, you can park behind this vehicle. First energy. Uh, yeah. Hey, okay. Hey. Okay. How about you circle around? Can you circle around? <laughs> yeah, um, this is on, on your right is the Independence Square. Why the name Independence Square? Now, on top of it is written Black Star Square. This is one of the open air square that we celebrate our Independence Day or any other important day in Ghana. This is the second largest square in the world. The first one is the Tiananmen Square of China. It will interest you to note that when President Bill Clinton visited Ghana, this is where he was hosted by our president, Friday Lieutenant John J. Rollins. A lot of countries outside Ghana came to this place just to have a glimpse of the only life certain president at that time that has ever visited West Africa, President Bill Clinton. <laughs> When you ask of the previous, including the current president, any Ghanaian or someone from West Africa will tell you that we like Bill Clinton. Why Bill Clinton was a friend to West African countries, especially Ghana. You have to really explain that one. <laughs> yeah, really, because... Uh, um, the, the, I, I think we should get down. Open the door, think, open door. Yeah, we should get down and then I'll continue from there. The lone soldier. Yeah, to get the fullness of this family, uh, we have to get out the vehicle. And while you're passing through here, we just want you to be safe because there's a lot of vehicles that come by. But this is one of my favorite monuments, 1957, Independence, Freedom and Justice. Yeah. And right over here is where the Black Star soccer team play. So you know, I love the whole Black Star energy. That's the name of our actual Pan-African community, Black Star Pan-African community. And it's the name of the soccer team here in Ghana. And it's the name of Marcus Garvey Shipping Line. So, you know, we're keeping the energy strong for my ancestors. You know, we, we're gonna keep the work going from generation to generation. 